Why I don't play Oni. Uh, I, I want to know why people don't play Oni. I can, I can tell you why I don't play Oni. I don't play Oni because I don't find him fun to, to play. I don't like that I am at the survivor's mercy of using my power. If I don't hit anyone, I don't have my power for the whole game. I'm cracked at Fortnite. I I need to hit at least one person and then spend another 40 fucking seconds sucking up their blood. Or hit two people and then I get my power immediately. But when I do that, I move, you know, at a good speed. I can instantly down people. I can down multiple people at once if they're close enough. But I just feel like getting to that point, getting my power, is just... Ugh. It just doesn't feel good. Because how you counter Oni, it's... He's probably the easiest fucking killer to verse. He... I, I swear to god, like, against, like, people who know what they're doing, Oni might actually be one of the worst killers in the game. Because all you have to do to forever counter Oni is just pre-drop a pallet. Just pre-drop the pallet and hold W and the man literally will never get his power because he has to hit at least one person. So you can just hard counter his entire power and I think that's really, really unfun. New Mori system and no ed. Theo Toto, I, that's what I hope they don't do is have it be so obscure and pointless that it doesn't even matter. Like, oh, you can Mori people in the end game collapse. Oh, wow, that's so cool. I love having to go through the entire game, aha. Uh -huh. Like, like people already don't like Noed, right? They're, they People think, oh, Noed's cheap. Even though you have to play three perks the whole fucking game and the survivors totally have enough time to do all the totems, but that's besides the point. People think Noed's pretty cheap, so they don't like it because, oh my god, I got instantly downed by the killer. I'm going to fucking shit my pants and piss everywhere. Oh, no. They don't like the insta-down. Now imagine you ha you have no way you insta down someone and now you can also mori them because it's EGC. Like that would just fuck it. people would lose their fucking minds. Like, oh my god, bro, the killer has a second chance? Holy fuck, I totally don't have borrowed time, dead hard and fucking soul guard equipped. Oh my god, oh. Let alone my DS. Fuck, man. Like it, it, people people just would not like it if it was EGC. I, I don't think they'd do EGC. Because I feel like that would that would create a more negative stigma around that kind of gameplay. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think they should do that. But maybe steer it towards like a secondary objective would be nice. You know? It's cheap because they don't want to be... <laughs> they don't want to do totems. Yes, yes. They don't want to do the second objective. It's like, eh, well. Call that 80% of the survivor means. I'm right. I am absolutely right. You, ha If Noed activates, the killer has played down a perk the whole game. You probably have four. And let's just say in the situation where the killer has had two hooks and Noed activates in the end game. The killer has had two hooks. That's plenty of time to stop doing generators and do totems. It's not hard. It takes 14 fucking seconds and there's a million perks to help you. Stop complaining. That's that's my two cents. That's my two cents about about Noed. I don't use Noed. I don't use No Way Out. I don't use Blood Warden. The reason why is I just I don't find end game gameplay to be interesting. I don't like having to wait the whole game to play the game. I like using my my perks and stuff early on and throughout the game instead of just the end. But I will recognize it's not it's not like this unfair thing because there's plenty of ways to get around it so save the best for last or stabiful was never good on legion no it was it was never good it was literally never good why would you need stacks like okay let's let's say that you have eight stacks like best case scenario you have eight stacks of save the best for last on legion okay you're supposed to use Feral Frenzy 100% of the time on healthy survivors. So the only time you're ever getting the value from Save the Best for Last is on a survivor who is already injured. 
What are you doing as Legion if you're downing a survivor? You cannot snowball because you don't have an ability that helps you in chase in order to get around the map faster than normal because of your cooldown. Therefore, the only situation where Save the Best for Last ever actually applies to Legion is literally when you are picking up a survivor. You can now pick them up slightly faster. It's just a bad perk. It was never good. It's just because like one or two big content creators say, Oh, this, is, this must be good on Legion, therefore... Oh, they must be right. It's like, no, it's, it's, it's fucking terrible when you break it down. Because, like, again, if you were old Legion, just use your power to kill them. You're 4.4. You can't even basic attack them because you move too slow. So you just frenzy them over and over so you never got value anyway. I, I never, I can never understand how, how Stabiffle ever became, like, quote, unquote, like, meta on Legion. It literally, I don't understand. I actually don't understand. It's so counterintuitive. It's like it's it's a good perk on Legion if you don't want to play Legion. It's it's only good if you literally play Legion incorrectly. I I, I just I never understood it. Will Dead Hard be changed? See, I wonder now if they're going to balance out Dead Hard because they fixed it. Now it it's like insanely strong. I mean, it always was strong. Um, but now that. It's entirely in the survivor control, if it works or not. Um, I wonder if they're going to reconsider its effect. It's one of those perks that has literally had like no changes. Like I think it may have one change or like the unified like exhaustion timers. But other than that, I'm not sure. And it's one of those mechanics in the game where it, it released at a point in Dead by Daylight where everything was just kind of like broken strong. You had like Huntress's eerie head. You had uh, like Insta Saw Hillbilly and and all that. And some time later, we we eventually got like Metal of Man, Legion with Frank's mixtape, Spirit with <laughs> with old prayer beads, OG prayer beads. Um. Oh yeah, that's yeah yeah like uh, generator repairs and toolboxes and things like that. And flashlight blinds and all of that nasty stuff. So I wonder if Dead Hard is one of those perks where now that it's in a stable position and it's working as intended, they can monitor it for let's say you know six to nine months, see how its performance is, compare it to after, and see if it needs a nerf. You know, because that that's sort of like what they they ended up. That's that was their philosophy with Legion was okay now that Legion's in a stable place you can't abuse Legion and Deep Wound can't be abused. Maybe now we can look at Legion. Um, that was their their philosophy. Uh, that was like two years ago. But but still you know maybe Dead Hard, you know now that it's in a stable place where it's working the way it's supposed to, maybe now it it gets a change or something. I don't know. Is Dying Light a strong perk? Do I think Dying Light is strong? Uh, no, not particularly. Not particularly, no. I don't even think it's like a good perk. Uh, but if you stack it with certain things and you play a certain killer also known as Legion, then it can be somewhat okay. Dying Light used to be like this, this one asshole perk where you just would kill the obsession and then everyone just did everything 25% slower for like no particular reason and they're like hey that's a little unhealthy that's a little kind of stupid let's change the perk so they changed it and they made it worse <laughs> but it's no longer anti-tunnel <laughs> or, or uh, a tunnel perk it's more like a, just kind of keep the obsession alive but the problem with Dying Light is by the time the slowdown actually starts to, like, really do something, you've probably already won the game. <laughs> like, like, you gotta hook them, like, seven, eight times until the slowdown's, like, actually kind of significant. And you're like, hmm, <laughs> now they can't do gens, but they're also going to die. And the, old, the only other survivor left is, like, a Dwight and then the Obsession, who's, like, a Meg. And so half the team isn't even affected by the slowdown, so... Very, very epic, chat. Very, very epic. Why Legion sucks? Legion is literally a slowdown killer and an insta down killer. He can do it with these, like, how is he bad? Basically, because Legion 
has no 1v1 and his 1v4 can be very easily countered. If survivors just like move a little bit away, then you can't use Feral Frenzy. And if everyone's injured and they don't heal, yeah, you can like one shot them because they're already injured, you don't have to hit them twice. But you have no way of handling a loop. Like they they'll just they'll just fuck you sideways and you just kinda have to go through it. Like they'll drop every pallet, every window, they'll go through everything and you'll just you'll just die inside. Picking which killers to verse. Like if if I was a, if I was a survivor and I could like pick and choose which killers, I know ones that I would immediately deselect and not want to play. Now like like I wouldn't want to play against uh like Hag, Twins, Trickster. Uh I would probably turn off Huntress after like one or two games against her. I've been getting a Huntress as survivor almost every fucking game and I hate it so much. Like Huntress is fine like once or twice, but playing her like more than once or twice as survivor, oh my god, please. Fucking end my suffering. She's she gets really fucking boring. Cause they all like it's 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 like the right play it's like the right way to play. But it like the it's so obnoxious the way most hunters is play. You just fucking walk up to the pallet, you ready your hatchet, if the survivor keeps running you you hit them if they drop it you hit them anyway it's all right very fun gameplay thank you i appreciate it was resident evil or binding of kin worse between binding of kin or resident evil which chapter was the worst in terms of oh binding of kin fucking sucked worst update this game ever received binding the kin all day like resident evil was buggy like it had a lot of problems but Binding of Kin has had a ripple effect with tons of bugs still in the game that are yet to be fixed.